Two weeks ago, I posted a TikTok of my Sunday morning routine and it did a lot better than I expected. People were really confused by the fact that I woke up so early to do laundry and used multiple machines in my near empty laundry room at that awful morning hour. And it kind of got me thinking, why do I love waking up early? I have been an early bird my entire life, but it wasn't until a few months ago that I started really embracing this part of myself. Starting my day early has truly turned my life into a more positive direction. And this is not for anyone by any means, but there are so many benefits to this practice that I really think make this lifestyle worth it. If you're new here. Hi, my name is JC. I'm a college student who recently moved from Texas to Illinois, and I'd love for you to join my little community. You can subscribe to me on YouTube to see more early bird and college content, but also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok to check out my short form. Although there is a lot of science behind the benefits of waking up early, I don't want to spend this video focused on that. This is supposed to be inspirational, not informative. However, if the science behind waking up early does interest you, I'll have the articles that I read while prepping for this video linked down below in the description. I've noticed that the days that I get to have my mornings my way, I have a more positive day overall. Over the summer, I worked some insane nannying hours and my day started with me jumping out of bed and rushing off to work. And I was completely exhausted all day because I woke up and got right to work and barely had any time to process my surroundings or schedule. Getting to have these slower, self-paced early mornings allows me to take the day on my own terms. When I say I'm an early bird, I do not mean that I wake up and immediately start my work. Because I wake up exhausted. If I tried to write an essay or do homework the moment that I woke up, I'd probably be failing all of my classes. Our brains take time to wake up, and waking up early allows me to have the time that I would like to allow my brain to unfog on its own terms. Okay, that sounds so holistic and crunchy, but I'm not sure how else to get that meaning across. I practice habit stacking in the mornings. My days are very routine, and they don't require much thinking. A typical weekday goes like this. I wake up, I get dressed, I wash my face, I go to the gym, and I call my dad. I weight lift, I do at least 30 minutes of cardio, I eat breakfast, I make my bed, I do my skin care, I get ready for the day, I pack my bag, I write in my journal, I do my devotionals, and then I finally check my phone. And my weekends look a little bit different, but they're still equally routine. I often go to a coffee shop on the weekends to get social media content prepped and spend time relaxing. And one of the weekend days, typically Sunday, I spend all of the time getting my laundry done and getting my deep cleaning done for the week. None of these activities require much brain power and they've become the set routines for me. And by the time I finish these routines, my brain has woken up and I'm ready to go and start my activities for the day. Time spent taking care of yourself is important. I used to struggle with finding a healthy balance of time for myself and time with others. My freshman and sophomore year of high school, I spent way too much time with myself that I felt isolated from my friends and family. My junior and senior year, I spent so much time with others that I never had time to check in with my individual well-being. Now, I've started learning how to find that balance. The mornings are typically when I have my me time, and the evenings are when I connect with my friends. I used to think I was really bad at relaxing for a while. My roommate literally had to have an intervention with me when I picked up a habit of uh, aggressive scrapbooking, but really I just wasn't looking in the right places. I relax at the gym. When I'm at the gym in the mornings, that is the one time of the day that I know I have complete control over. I may not be able to control my life circumstances and things might not always go my way, but when I'm working out, I'm the one in charge of the routine, my mindset, and my drive. I struggle a lot with anxiety, specifically the need to feel on top of every situation. And in working through it, working out is always one of the things that calms me down and puts me in a better mood. The gym is the time I have set aside for me to listen to music, catch up on the infinite seasons of Grey's Anatomy, like seriously, why are there so many seasons of that show? And I always put my phone on Do Not Disturb so that I'm not overwhelmed by the social buzz and I'm just in the moment with myself. I won't lie, putting my phone on Do Not Disturb used to give me a lot of anxiety, but I've done it for so long now that I really relish in that time where I don't have to answer texts or hear the Snapchat notifications. What I absolutely love about this is I'm not having to sacrifice time with friends because I have this me time built into my schedule. I'm not saying that this is perfect or that it works this exact way every single day of my life, but what I am saying is that there has been a noticeable effect. I could talk about why I love waking up early for literal hours. I promise I won't. But how do I do it? There isn't a secret formula to waking up early. It mostly stems from two things. Willpower and going to bed early. Mostly willpower though. There is no way that I would be able to keep my early mornings up if I was consistently going to bed late, so I make a point to start falling asleep around 9 p.m. Obviously life circumstances happen and this isn't my case for a lot of the nights, but I get good enough sleep most nights that I'm able to keep this up without sleep deprivation. In order to help myself get to bed earlier, I have a very strict night routine that I follow. It really helps me fall asleep easier. Okay, so basically. I really love waking up early, and this has had such a positive impact on my life that I have made changes for myself in order to ensure that I'm able to keep this up. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it isn't for everyone and that's okay. This is just a part of my life that I really love and want to share. 
It improves my mood, gives me time to adjust, and relieves anxieties that I might otherwise feel. I've been able to figure this part out for myself and I encourage you to as well, whether it's being an early bird or some other aspect of life that brings you joy. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my little corner of the internet. It would be so much fun. Um, check me out on Instagram and TikTok if you want to see some of my other stuff. And that is all for now.